Hello, hello. This is Whatcast again with another What of the Day. And uh, I heard about this this morning, this What of the Day. It's, a, it's concerning this cancel culture again. Um, and this one's ridiculous. It's about Greece, the movie Greece. I'm going to touch on some other TV shows as well. This cancel culture is trying to rip off of the TV. Before I do any of this stuff, uh, please subscribe to this channel. Please listen to the podcast, Whatcast. And like the video and comment and everything like that. Everything that YouTubers normally say, just do it and I'll stop asking. Anyway, we talked about the SJWs being triggered by this stuff now, by Greece of all things. Uh, I don't really understand this anymore. Like later on, we're going to be listening to Olivia Newton-John herself and what she thinks about this nonsense. When we get to the end of the video, Olivia is going to be speaking and you're going to hear what she thinks about these, uh, these people that keep, keep getting triggered by all of this crap all the time. They don't want anything to exist anymore. They put a film on and it's like they put the film on with the intention of being offended. What's this? When was this film made? All the 70s, there'll be something offensive and now I think I'll watch it and it'll be pissed off all the way through it and look for references that I can cancel. What are you talking about, you twats? Uh... They've done this before with other TV shows I've been noticing over the last couple of years, right? So first of all, I noticed it on, uh, someone was, I was watching something one day and a trigger warning come up on the TV and it was uh, an episode of Cheers, right? Uh, the 80s sitcom Cheers. Uh, and, I, and I looked this up just to make sure that I remembered it properly. Here we are, Cheers, right? 10 things from Cheers that have not aged well. I thought, what's this about? I looked it up. This is from 2019, but this is what the people complaining about Cheers. Could you get a more innocent show than Cheers for its time? It's like basically kids TV Cheers. Uh, and it's got like 10 different things here. Boys in the bar episode, homophobia in this episode. Uh, Sam's violent threats towards Diane. Like they had these arguments every episode and uh, Ted Danson's characters go, oh, I'd love to punch you in the mouth and all that. But she actually hit him. They hit slapping each other and stuff like this. It's just slapstick bullshit. Like, people are being offended. Sam's violent. Sam was not an odd man. It was hardly a threat to women. It was just like trying to shag everybody. That was all it was. Uh, what else we got here for the old cheers from back in the day? Uh, severe lack of diversity, obviously. Look, they're all white in the picture. You know, if diversity means these days, this is what diversity means. You've got to have this and everything, right? You've got to have a person of each color other than white. Right? Uh, everybody uh, from all around the world. You've got to have disabled people in there, people without limbs. Uh, you've got to have blind, a couple of blind people knocking in there. Uh, all different hair colors, different kind of illnesses and all that. All just like everything but white. But they've all got to have the exact same opinion and not disagree on anything. They've all got to be all of the same opinion. They can't have any diversity of thought. So this is what a TV show would have. If we had Cheers now, it would just be like every single person in that in that uh, picture would be female. This is this is what, uh, and from all around the world, that that would be diversity. That would be what would be seen as diversity in 2021. What else was wrong with Cheers? Transphobic. I didn't know this one. Transphobic lyrics in the song. Uh, let's have see what, what this is. Uh, the extended version of the most classic theme. There are lyrics in the song that can arguably be considered transphobic. It's always arguably in it. Uh, listening to the uncut version of the theme song, you'll hear Gary Portnoy sing, your husband wants to be a girl. <laughs> right. He is listening of all the worst possible scenarios a person could possibly go through in order to drive them towards the bar where everybody knows your name. He wants to be a girl. Transphobic, obviously. Uh, let's go to multicam format. That was problematic. I can't even bother to fucking read that. Norm's one line is about Vera. So Norm had a wife called Vera. Uh, and he used to make my wife references the same as people make mother-in-law jokes and stuff like that. Can't do it anymore, Norm. Good thing it was the fucking 80s, then, isn't it? Uh, so Sam and Diane, what was that? It's during a heated sequence, Sam slaps Diane. Oh, God. I've just cut touched on this. Carla's attitudes towards women. Carla was a woman. Right. This is twaddle. Um, what women want... And 
Yeah. So anyway, that's cheers. Obviously, really offensive. Get it off the TV. Trigger warning. Cheers. Wow. And then the next one I saw was Friends. So Friends came onto Netflix, right? Uh, and the millennials couldn't believe what they were watching with uh, Friends, making reference to, you know, all of these isms that we get these days. No one's... Uh, the show's plot lines have offended a new generation of viewers. Well, don't fucking view it then. If it pisses you off that much, turn it off. Or go and fucking criticise some other shit. Go and, go and search for problems elsewhere and let everybody else... I didn't even like Friends, but Friends was so wildly popular in the 90s. And yet, everybody just wants... Like, what, what these... Old racist homophobes like friends. Get it off the TV. Piss off knobs. Go and watch fucking Pebble Mill at one. What the fuck are I to say that for? All this other crap you could be watching. You could just go and, go and watch anything. I don't know. I'm struggling because there's nothing anymore that people wouldn't be offended by. Uh, as we're about to find out, I've got some more here. Only Fools and Horses. I saw this one. So if you don't know this, if you're in America or whatever, Only Fools and Horses and Forty Towers. You must know what Forty Towers is if you've lived even a little bit. Um, and Only Fools and Horses, uh, my little boy's just got into recently. Classic British TV, British comedy. And now it comes with trigger warnings before the show starts. And BritBox have actually barred some certain episodes for offensive content. Right? BritBox. Because I'm assuming because that goes to America. I thought like, it's bad enough in America that they're doing this now, that everything's a trigger warning. You can't have comedy anymore and you can't um, have these TV fucking TV shows from days gone by when none of this stuff really was offensive. Now we're searching for offense. You can find offense in anything. Only Fools and Horses, the most least offensive show on fucking TV yet. Banned from BritBox. Let's get to the matter at hand. Greece is what I've heard this morning. So someone says, never let racist, rapey grease <laughs> be shown on TV again, say snowflakes. And here he goes, so it's rapey, homophobic, slut shaming, racist, obviously, because there's no black people in that picture there, and bullying, because they bullied uh, Olivia Newton-John. So we don't, want, we don't want any of this, right? So uh, they're trying to make sure that it's never, not available to watch on the TV anymore, Grease. And, uh, you know, they're kind of trying to consign Greece to like the top shelf with a porn or something like this. Yeah, then keep that away from the children. They can't handle it. If you're going to put Greece on a fucking musical, like it's a fucking musical with stupid songs in it. Apparently some of the lyrics are offensive now in the songs. Uh, it's the most cheesiest film ever. Wildly popular, Greece. Everybody used to love Greece. Everyone knows all the songs. Which songs are offensive? Fucking hopelessly devoted to you. Oh, triggered. Fuck off, you twats. Right, let's see what Olivia's got to say about it. So we're going to the next bit here. Olivia Newton-John. So she got asked about this today because uh, she's 72, Olivia. I never knew this. 72, Olivia Newton-John, right? So there's a 1978 movie, Greece, following a recent airing of the film in the UK. So because it's come on a UK boxing day, it was on. And a load of younger people that have been taught, been trained that you've got to look for a thing. Oh, what's new? I've never seen this before. I'm not going to enjoy it. I'm going to look for problems with it. This could be problematic. And this is what they're doing there. So they put fucking Greece on, sitting there waiting to see what problems they can find with it. And they found some. Uh, and and uh, Olivia has got this to say about it. I won't read out the article. Because listen. The way of the world has obviously changed. Diner talking. And recently, there was backlash about, some people started writing backlash about Greece, saying that it was sexist, it had a lack of diversity and all this stuff. You talk about in the book about how at an early age you learned to deal with criticism. And mm. this obviously wasn't a personal attack or anything. It was about Greece, not you personally. But... When you hear things like that, how, how do you deal with that? Well, in this particular instant, I think it's kind of silly because, you know, the yes. movie was made in the 70s, about the 50s. It was a stage play. The 50s. It's a musical. It's fun. It's a fun movie musical and not to be taken so seriously. I think everyone's taking everything so seriously. Yes. We need to relax a little bit. Yes. And just enjoy things for what they are. And... Um, I didn't see it like that at all. And I think it's just a, a fun movie that entertains people. <laughs> That's all. Absolutely. What are they talking about? It is exactly what she says. It's just a fun film that entertains people. 
nobody's uh, offended by. Well, people are. She is well. Piss off, Lorraine. People are offended, obviously, but they're searching for offence. There's nothing offensive about Greece. Seriously. Like, if you're going to find offence in Greece, then you might as well just give up on life. You've got to find offence in everything. So you're going to be triggered every single day. You spend your life being fucking miserable, which ultimately seems to be what you want to be. You want to look for everything that can piss you off. And you don't want to be happy. You don't want to laugh at anything. You don't want to find anything funny, lighthearted, or just relax about nothing. You just want to go through life searching for issues. I can't find any issues. Let's go to some old films. All the new films are pandering to me, so that's not good enough. Let's go and find the old films to destroy this shit. So no one's got anything to fucking watch anymore without being constantly triggered by all this bullshit get the fuck out uh anyway please subscribe to this channel please listen to the podcast what cast drops every single week give me this video a thumbs up and all that good stuff please comment underneath if you disagree agree and everything like that and i'll see you later